morning, Freddie. Morning. What are you having there? What is that? Shall I tell everybody? Freddie's got one of the Halloween Crunch Corners, which has got little chocolate biscuits shaped into ghosts. <coughs> Excuse me. No, shaped in the ghosts. They're not shaped into ghosts, so they're shaped into skulls. Or we'll skeleton, skeleton heads, as you call them. Morning, Madeline. Morning. Morning. How are you doing? Doing great. Are you loving life as well this morning? Yeah. Have you got a crunch corner too? I do, yeah, mine's got ghosts in now. It's like, it's like, it tastes like cheesecake. Have you, have you got any there now? Have they all gone? No, they're, they're, they're all just like in They're all in. So, the white chocolate ghosts with the strawberry taste like cheesecake? Yeah. Wow. You love it? Yeah. Yeah, you're glad I got them? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll want probably go back. We you would like, well, you need to say, please, can I have a taste? Please, I have a taste. Oh. Taste test. Strawberry. You do like it. Yeah? You said no at first, you hadn't given it a chance. Can you give Madeline a taste test of yours, please? Oh. Mmm. Yeah? I like that one as well. Yeah, excellent. Well, I'm going to go and get my breakfast now. I don't do the dishwasher. Excuse me. I'm glad I was sitting down when you said that. <laughs> Thank you very much, Madeline. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll let you enjoy your breakfast. I'll go get mine now. Hiya, buddy. Good morning, everybody. It is Hi, Tuesday, Hi, the 16th Hi, of October. You say hello. Turn around then. Hello. Hello. Hi, everybody. We're just about to nip to the doctor's, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. I'm exciting stuff. Doctors. You're gonna play doctors, are you? Nah. Okay, nah. Right, mommy's just gonna nip Hi down here. The Hi, to the doctors. That's how I can see them. So basically, um, Freddie is gonna be having the two to three year uh, um, nasal spray, which is like f to prevent him from getting flu. Um, but I haven't like told him because I didn't want him to sort of stress about it. So I'm hoping that obviously just when we get there, we get a just drop in clinic. So we're gonna head along there now and see if we can get a drink. I'm really pale this morning. I have actually got like my makeup on. I look more like I've got my white makeup on from last night. Anyway, we're gonna head there now and get that done for him. Fingers crossed it goes okay. <laughs> Freddy, you got a melody pop. <laughs> what do you think of that? Do you like it? Good boy. Hi, everybody. We are back. Aren't we, Freddy? And as you just seen in the car there, Freddy has got a melody pop lolly. And he's also got an ordinary, like a chubba chubs lolly, haven't you? And some candy sticks. Can you tell everybody where we've been? I've been to the sweetie shop. You went to the sweetie shop. Now, why did you go to the sweetie shop? Why did mummy say you should go to the sweetie shop today? I look at the, I look at the game. So, where did we go before the sweetie shop? Can you remember? I look at the green one. You didn't get the green one, that's right. We were at the doctor's and you had your, um, well it's like a flu jab, but for the little ones, for the two and three year olds, they can have it as a nasal spray instead. So it's going to stop Freddie from getting um, really bad flu. And was it alright? Yeah? Mm-hmm. Did it hurt? Nope. What did they do? Can you remember? Where did you put it? Did you put it in your ear? No? In your eye? No, you, you would tell everybody where, where she put it? Nose. In your nose. And it didn't hurt? No. Was it cold? No. Was it wet? No. And then it was all done and just did really, really quickly, wasn't it? And you were so, so brave. So I said that Freddie could go to the shop and get some sweeties. So that's what you're doing now is stuffing your face with sweeties, aren't you? Yeah. You're so clever. So if there's any boys and girls watching and they're going to have theirs... And, and they're thinking about it, they're being a bit upset about it. 
What can you say? What could you tell them about what you just happened to your nose? I don't know. I say, it's fine. Don't worry. If you don't worry, it'll be fine. Can you tell the boys and girls that? I say, don't worry, it'll be fine. <laughs> He's so cute, he's so cute. So, we've got quite a few busy things to do this week. So, this afternoon, Mummy's probably going to have to do some housework and some things like that. Yeah? Cool. So, we'll get, we're going to get some washing put in. Are you eating your sweeties? <laughs> Mwah! Clever boy. Thank you for being so brave. Wow, that's amazing. That's a really big tower, isn't it? Have a lad. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I wonder if there's a world record for the most stacked mini cheddars. Was it hard work doing that, Freddie? No. It was hard work, was it? Freddie, I'm over here. Hello. Hi everybody, well if you're wondering why my hair is such a mess, me and Freddie have spent loads of time playing in our house. What happened there? Have we in the tent. Well, it's a tent now, is it? It was a house before. Yeah? You had good fun? Yeah. It's been dead good, hasn't it? You're going in. Are you going to show everybody how you can go in? Come on then. This is what he's been doing, what we've had to do. Are you ready? Yay! <laughs> there we go. You want to get out now? I can't wait until we can start building forts together, Freddie. But I mean, I must say this room is pretty messy, isn't it? Yeah. So, I've literally got no housework done today whatsoever, guys. So I think I'm going to have to go and crash, crack on with something. Except for doing some washing, that's all I've done. Um, so I think I'm going to have to do something. Otherwise, by the time Daddy Flamingo gets home on Friday, this house is just going to have gone to ruin. <laughs> you alright in there, Freddie? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Freddie, what's wrong? Freddie, tell mummy what's wrong. The toys in the way. I get in. Is it too messy? Do you want mummy to tidy up? No. <laughs> really? <laughs> you want me to tidy up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll tidy up for you because I'm good at that. I'm good at tidying, aren't I? Am I good at tidying, Freddie? I'm the best. I'm the best. Right, well, I guess I better have a tidy up so that Freddie can get back into his little bed that he's got. Or his tent, or his house. I'm not sure what it is today. My tent. <laughs> How funny is that? He needs me to tidy up. Always. <laughs> right, let's tidy up. It's just mainly like these bits that you've got out on the floor. Yeah? Okay, I'll start with these, shall I? Yeah. So, we just got all of these here. Can we just put them all back in the box then? Yeah, put it all in there. All right, okay. Let's get them so just go in there. Oh, not put your spelly sock in though. All right, okay. Lovely, lovely, lovely. What are you doing? Are you helping? Okay. That's off um, the key keeper. Yeah. I'm just tidying up. Well, I've just tidied that over your way. I thought you wanted to tidy so you could have space. And you just threw it back out. Mine. Yes, I know it's yours. I know that. Are you being a tinker? Have you got too many toys ready? Yeah. Yes. Do you think you need to give some of your toys away to some boys and girls who don't have many toys? No. Maybe some of them that you don't play with anymore. You could give to some boys and girls. Some boys and girls don't have toys, you know, Freddie. I don't How do, how do you think the boys and girls feel who don't have any toys? Do you think they feel a little bit sad? No. No. Yeah, they do. No. And then th there are some toys that you don't play with anymore that I'm sure some boys and girls would love. <laughs> okay. All right, darling. <laughs> okay. In fairness. Hello. In fairness, he is. Oh! Wait, wait. <laughs> In fairness, he is only two. And these are just some of the jobs that you have to do when he's not here. <laughs> Aww, Freddy. 
Madeline. Yeah. Fanny's just said, it's too messy. He needs us to tidy up so he's got space. Yeah. And it's only messy because of him. No. Whoa, what's she done now? Tidy it. All right, okay, well, I'll finish I'll finish doing my tidying job, shall I? <coughs> Excuse me, right. You having a dink? Good boy. <laughs> well, looks like we're going to have to put a frying pan on the list. <laughs> Like now, we're not like when I was picking it up. I'm just cooking some um, corn mince with That's it. yummy. And um, I'm just going to put it in the oven with um, some gravy on it. Just like sort of cooks all the. the I just find that you get the gravy sort of taste in the corn because yeah. we need to put a lot of um, flavour and stuff on. But yeah, I just went like that and then it literally just like, pops off. Can you see the bits down there, Madeline? The screw and everything. Can you imagine if I've been flipping parking? <laughs> That, that has just happened in my pan so what I'm gonna have to do now is um, I can't really pick it up because obviously I haven't got a handle on it so I've got to get my um, corn mince into my casserole dish before it goes near it so I'm just gonna have to like scoop it <laughs> so I have to scoop it in like that but how bad's that like to be honest though I'm just totally glad that um, I was just using it on the hob and that I didn't have it in there. Can you imagine that? Like, if, <laughs> if we'd been doing pancakes or something, that would have been crazy. So, yeah, so all I'm doing there is I've just cooked it off. I mean, it's corn mince, so you're not, it's not going to have to cook for the same amount of time that you would, like, if you're using a proper meat mince. And then I'm just going to pop it into the oven with, um, I think you've seen before that gravy mix that I've used. Um, the one that you normally like do up in the pan, but I've just kind of thinned it, like used more water than I would, and then you just put it in in the dish, and then just stick it in the oven for a little bit. What you can do as well, if you want, if you want to make it like extra filling and stuff, so you can put peas and things in. But I'm doing, um, I'm going to be doing some mixed veg anyway, so I'm going to just do that separately anyway. But oh my goodness me, what a fright I got when I was just left standing with the handle in my hand. I mean, come on, what is that all about? That is crazy. Goodness me. So, here we go, here we are again. Doesn't seem like two minutes since I made tea yesterday, I'm going to be totally honest with you. Right, so I've put the put some gravy on there. I was going to show you. But I'm actually going to make up a little bit extra to go with that. What are you doing? <laughs> Freddie, what are you doing? Show me what you've just done. The potato. You bit out of the potato. He stood. He stood up. And hang on, you're you're blaming him. Saying it was his idea. He's two. I know, but you just like it's his idea. Did you enjoy it, Madeline? No, it's horrible. No, you prefer them cooked. Yeah. Guys, should we stick the eating cooked potatoes from now on? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not having that one. You can Nobody's having that one. I've used what I'm having. You saw. You're such bickering as if you are like the same age. I'm not having that one, of that one. <laughs> right, so I'm just preparing some little sliced potatoes to go in the oven. They are slim and world friendly, weight washers friendly, things like that. Um, it's been a while since I showed people in, and these are going to go and scroll right back through those of my videos. I thought I would just quickly show you again um, how I did them. Sorry, I'll just turn Alexa down there. Thank you. Right, so I've just had them. I've got the potatoes all sliced up there. Okay, they've had five minutes in the microwave, and then all I've done, they're in hot boiling water in the microwave, and then I've just put them in the colander out of the strain, and then they've been there for a few minutes. Next thing that I do is I just get some kitchen oil, double piece of kitchen oil, put it back into the bowl that I used, then I get the potatoes and stick them into the bowl again. All I'm going to do here is it's just to basically get some of the excess um, liquid off the potatoes, so they're just in there like that, just give them a bit of a shake about the place and then just to get the ones on the top I just get another bit of kitchen oil and pop that on there like that and just pat them down okay there we go that's it done okay and then I just take the kitchen oil off I also take the other bit off at this stage because I find it easier than when I'm tipping it then I just bring the potatoes over I've got a tray here with some greaseproof paper on and some fry light sprayed over it and then I just tip the potatoes on like that I haven't got loads because we're having like dinner and stuff you could make these just if you wanted to have like a load of these with 
some chicken or something like that to have like maybe like a sort of fake away you can do them as chips if you're going to do them as chips they might need a little bit longer in the microwave to soften um obviously because they'll be thicker and that's it then you just spread them out on the tray like that which takes like no time at all obviously i'm um, trying to get it done as quick as possible because it's going to be boring if you have to watch me clean them all out right okay so then what i do after that is i'll just get some fry light which is there you can get all different kinds of it get it when it's on a special offer in b&m's and then you just literally spray it all over trying not to spray your lovely stainless steel cooker top if you can right and then you just put them in the oven and i've already got the oven on because i've got the corn mince in there so i'm just gonna open the door are you all right you're so so sorry what's happened freddie where have you gone what's happened You've been a bit sick? No. Are you feeling sick? sick? Oh, because you've had a cold and stuff, haven't you? Should we go and put that corn mince back in the freezer now? So don't want it to get you frosted, do we? Good boy. I just meant to say there as well, with the um, potatoes in there, just um, leave them in until they go golden on that side, then turn them over. The and there is the mince cooking there. So there you go, so they shouldn't take long at all. So what I'm going to do, I'll get back again. What are you guys doing? And what's he got now? A bit of paper. It's a bit of paper off the corn You can have it, but not in your mouth, darling. So I'll just wait a few minutes and then I'll start on um, the veg. I've just got frozen veg. It's just the ones from Tesco's. Um, it takes a couple of minutes each one, which is great. But I find that two is more than enough to go around the three of one. And that'll be our dinner done and dusted. A nice winter warmer. But rather than using a steak mince, we've got a corn mince tonight for a change. How is it, Freddie? Do you like it? Yeah? So there we go, guys. There is corn mince with mixed veg and sliced potatoes. She's going in. She's going in. Mm. Yeah? It's a nice meal for a day, isn't it? Because it's start, starting yeah, to get a bit yeah. more autumn. So Freddie's enjoying these potatoes nom 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 good lad well done so that is us all done and just enough to take everything tidy dishwashers on we are ready because madden's off for a dance class so a nice quick <coughs> turn around again after tea tonight are you good yeah what have you got tonight i've got a hip hop but i think i'm gonna call off you off me you get the car not off me it's off freddy <laughs> Hi everybody, good evening. Hope everybody's had a good Tuesday. Um, I'm really, really excited. Um, Freddie's gone to bed. Um, Madeline's just literally headed off to bed after watching the Great British Bake Off with me. <coughs> Excuse me. And I have got the TV paused, ready to watch Home Alone. I'm so excited. I mean, the fact that I do actually also have it on DVD, that doesn't matter. I want to watch it on TV because it's on right now. I'm really, really excited and looking forward to that. So I'm going to go make myself a cuppa and get something to eat and settle down and watch that. Um, I'm really buzzing, <laughs> the fact that it's on. Um, so I ordered something from Wish um, about a week and a half ago or something like that. And that arrived uh, today. So in tomorrow's vlog, I'm actually going to test that product and see what it's like. So make sure you tune back in for that. I um, would also like to say a massive welcome as we've picked up some new subscribers since I last vlogged. Um, it's always nice in, to have more people joining our community. So welcome, I hope you enjoy our channel and thank you so much for your support in subscribing to us. Um, and if you do like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you check out. And if you're feeling extra generous, please share, tweet out the video, share our channel. We appreciate it so, so much. Uh, we are on a little bit of a target. Hashtag 1K for Xmas Day. Um, we can do it if we all work together. Um, We've never been bothered about the numbers in terms of, oh, we must get to a certain amount, but it's lovely to see <coughs> our community building. Um, and if we can't get to a 1,000 subscribers by Christmas Day, then great. If we don't, we're still going to keep on vlogging because we love doing it. And obviously, with Daddy Flamingo working away, it's great for him because he can see what we're doing when he's not here, which is fab. Um, so, so, as you might have seen earlier, um, I ended up managing to somehow break my frying pan, so I now have a frying pan which has gone in the bin because the handle is no longer attached to it. So I need to go out and get another frying pan tomorrow. 
and we're not an unhealthy family i don't fry a lot of stuff per se like deep fry um but i do use uh, the fry light and i mean i pan fry chicken and things like that so i'm going to need to replace that tomorrow <coughs> Um, and I'm also going to nip into Aldi for a few bits and pieces. So I've got my list written out for things that I want to get there. Um, I've got my Halloween candle just up there burning in the background. You can see that there. Absolutely loving that. Um, love, love, love the fragrance of that. If, if you haven't watched the video, um, I actually got that from B&M Bargains. It was 2 dollars Two ninety nine or three ninety nine from the Halloween section. I thought it was just a bog standard candle, but it's actually got the most amazing Halloween smell. I can't explain it. It just smells like Halloween. And I know I mentioned in that same video as well. Um, if you do like your scented candles, but you feel that maybe a Yankee candle is a little bit out of your reach, get yourself into Home Bargains because they do them in there. Um, not the Yankee candles one, um, but they're very very similar, and the fragrance is really really strong, and I love them. Um, so you can get them for, so I think they do the large glass ones and they are 2 .99. You can buy a smaller votive as well. I think they're about uh, 99 pence. <coughs> but they do lots and lots of fragrances um, in Home Bargains ones. Um, so Mummy Flamingo recommends them. And all of those that I've tried so far, I've got a Flamingo Family 5 star out of 5. Um, I will be picking up some more of the Christmas uh, scents. I did get some um, last year and I just use them and use them and use them until they're gone. I just love them so, so much. There's never going to be a time when there's a Christmas candle or a Christmas fragrance left over in our house. The only time that there'll ever be any in our house after Christmas is because I've picked them up really cheap in the sale for this year, for the following year, I should say. Um, so tomorrow night, I've got a few Christmas presents that I've been buying, so I'm going to be wrapping those as well. Um, if anybody needs any tips on how to, how best to wrap their presents, um, I'll try and show you a few of the things that I do, but I'm going to have to demonstrate on random boxes because I can't show you the presents because the people who uh, they're for will be watching our channel at some point. I don't really want to give away a surprise. Um, so yeah, that's basically how I'm going as I'm wrapping as I go along. <coughs> Don't want it to go more than a few days without getting those things wrapped because it just ends up getting totally out of hand. Um, I'm going to end today's vlog there, guys, because um, I keep coughing and that's probably really, really annoying. I'm so, so sorry. Um, so I shall catch up with you guys really, really soon. So good night, sweet dreams, and we'll see you back here again soon. Bye.